Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a chill chit chat favorites video. I haven't done one of these in a really, really long time. I've got some hair care, skin care, beauty, random stuff for you guys today. And my light is flickering. Oh my gosh. I need to call my maintenance because I don't know, I don't think it picks it up on camera. My light randomly flickers and it's the most annoying thing ever oh my gosh okay i think i fixed it temporarily uh also i wanted to obviously address my haircut um i oh my god it's flickering again i can't oh my god i'm that's so annoying we are just gonna film without it it's a little bit darker uh but we're gonna roll with the punches and anyway my gosh i'm getting so distracted already my hair i cut four inches off, which isn't a super lot, but I feel like it makes a really big difference. I really like the way it turned out. I love the length. Um, I haven't worn it straight yet, so I'm really hoping I like it when it's straight because that's usually how I wear my hair. Uh, but I love it curled. I just feel like it's so fun and girly and like springy. I don't know. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys like it because um, it's here to stay for a while. I also just wanted to thank you guys. I had to take a break last week and you guys were super, super understanding. It was my finals uh, for school. I've got one more semester and then I graduate, uh, which is terrifying. Uh, but I was also very sick for like three days. I mean, I still kind of have like a cough and some issues, but like I was like really sick for three days. Thank you for being patient and understanding. I really appreciate it. I hate when my school interferes with my upload schedule because I try to avoid that, but sometimes life happens. So, okay, anyway, let's dive into some of these products. You know what, let's start off with a fragrance favorite. I never talk about fragrances on my channel because I don't like them usually. I just don't like traditional perfume. This is from Lush and this is called Rose Jam. My friend Kayleen came to visit me one weekend a while ago and she had us on and when we got in my car, like a more enclosed space, I immediately could smell something that smelled so, so, so good. I was like, what are you wearing? Because like, I actually need that. And it smells so good, you guys. It's not a traditional perfumey smell. I, I'm completely obsessed with it. I love it so, so much. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, I got some of that in my mouth. It doesn't taste good, it smells really good though. We're just gonna be bouncing around. Okay, next up I have a Wet n Wild palette. I actually just posted my favorites of Wet n Wild. Um, so there are a couple Wet n Wild products in here, so hopefully I'm not being too repetitive, but this palette I've just been loving so, so much. This is the Cosmic Collision one. So with the color icons, I like most of them, um, but most of them do have like hits and misses in the middle. The transition colors on the top and bottom are consistently really, really good, uh, but sometimes there's just some shades in the middle that are like, eh, I don't love that. This one I feel like has so many winners in it, and I just really love the color palette, and I just get really, really inspired by it, so I've just been reaching for this nonstop like I really really love it. Come here. Come here. You haven't said hi to the people in a while. Goodness. This is my little Luna. Oh, some of you guys haven't met her. I love you so much. Do you know that your whiskers are getting in my lipstick? True love. All right, I'm gonna put you down now. Say bye. You're my ultimate favorite. Do you know that? You're my number one. You're my number one. You don't like that? You don't like it when I sing? No? <laughs> okay. I'm getting the most distracted in this video, but I just wanted to, I don't know, I miss you guys. Like, I just want to, like, chit-chat, you know? Uh, so I ain't rushing or anything. Um, okay, let's talk about a skincare favorite. This is from The Ordinary, and this is their Natural Moisturizing Factor Plus HA. The one thing about The Ordinary that I don't like is their names are kind of complicated, uh, but this moisturizer is really nice. It's really light, and I feel like it does do the job. I have really dry skin, um, and I'm, I've been really reaching for this. This is only $5. You don't get a super lot of product, uh, but I feel like five bucks for a moisturizer is pretty reasonable. Would definitely recommend this. I like this a lot. Another skincare product is from the brand Derma E, which I've been trying out a couple of products from them, and I really like this vitamin C concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid. I really like wearing it in the morning and at night. Usually at night is when I do my skincare routine. Sometimes I'll do th some things in the morning, but I don't know why, but I hate the stuff of like feeling stuff on my face when I before my makeup you know there's literally Luna hair like floating around oh my gosh uh but I really really like this you get a decent amount of product it is expensive I think this was like 30 bucks but skincare is expensive and I'm really trying to take better care of my skin because girl I got some wrinkles you know and I don't appreciate that so 
So let's talk about some lashes. So the lashes that I am wearing right now are from Shop Miss A and they are only $1. I don't wear lashes enough to really invest in really good lashes. And I feel like for a dollar, these are really nice. They're easy to apply. Uh, the band is nice and flexible, easy to work with. Uh, and these are the Alexis ones from the AOA studio. And you can get a pack of six and I think it's like $5. So you kind of get one for free. Um, so I've been really liking this as well. A highlighter that I have been completely obsessed with and no, I'm not wearing it today. Didn't really kind of go with my look because I kind of has some cooler undertones. Um, but this is from an indie brand called Terra Moons Cosmetics, and this is in Sea Goddess. And I did a indie brand Friday on them, uh, which if you don't know what that is, it's just a series, a new series on my channel where I kind of dissect and try out indie brands, uh, brands that don't get as much recognition or anything. And I love this highlight, you guys. It's so beautiful. It's so stunning. It blends into the skin. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I've really been loving that. Maybe I'll just pop a little bit on for you, okay? Just freaking love it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, you guys. And it's only $12 for this huge freaking pan. Okay, that's a deal. I have like three Wet n Wild favorites that I want to talk about, but I feel like it's really repetitive because I talked about them literally in my last video, but I can't help it. I've been loving it, you guys, so, so much. I'll just say them really quickly. I have this powder brush. This packaging is so beautiful. Um, I love it. It's soft. It's so soft, you guys. Oh my gosh. And I'm just, I'm honestly just really obsessed with the packaging. And it's a really good brush. And then I have the Beauty Sponge. If you want to hear more about these, I can leave the wet and Best of Wet n Wild down below. I also want to mention, I love this little uh, holder. It sits nicely on my desk. It was only like a couple of bucks off of Amazon if I can find the exact ones. I think I bought it in a pack. Um, it was only a couple bucks. It's a total like staple for me just because before I was kind of throwing my sponges wherever. And the last favorite is the micro brow pencil in Brunette. I freaking love this. I will say I just ran out of this one. So the thinner pencils do not last as long, but th that's not really new information. I am used to using the $2 e.l.f. pencil and you cannot get very precise with this, but I've been loving just really carving out my brows. I feel like it, my brow game has just been a lot better since I switched over to the Wet n Wild one. It is a couple of bucks more expensive than this one, but I do my brows so much I feel like they gotta look good, you know? So maybe I will be switching over to this one. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, I'm sorry if that was repetitive, but I wanted to just throw those in there because I have been like loving them more than a lot of my other stuff, so I felt like it was worth mentioning. Let's talk about this Essence blush. I've definitely talked about this blush before. This is from Essence. I already said it's from Essence. <laughs> and this is their Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. I like to pull this out in the summer. It's just really nice and peachy and gorgeous. I love it. I have it on today. It's so, so beautiful. Um, and it's only a couple bucks. Essence has some real gems hidden in their brand. I feel like not enough people talk about Essence, I gotta tell ya. So I've got two, well I guess technically three lip favorites. Crap, these are Wet n Wild too. Um, oh my gosh, what can I say? I just love Wet n Wild, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, these are the High Shine glosses. I talked about them a lot on my channel, so I just, I don't really wanna talk about them again. Okay, for those of you that watch Lizzie McGuire, is it Kate? The, the mean girl, she was like, Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. I feel like I'm Lizzie McGuire right now, except I'm repeating myself with makeup. <laughs> If you know that reference, oh my god, I love you. Seriously, the Lizzie McGuire movie was everything. Everything. So these are really awesome. They're only $5. They make your lips look real juicy. Um, and so does my next favorite. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I was in this store the other day and I couldn't find the shade, so I will literally cry if this shade has been discontinued. I'll have to check on their website. But in general, I like the formula a lot. I just feel like I'm wearing it today. I need a little bit more, actually. I just love this formula. It's so juicy and perfect for summer. The formula is really awesome. I need to pick some more up. Okay, I've got some foundation and base favorites. So this is pretty new in my collection. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Uh, primer plus moisturizer in one. That's a long title, honey. But um, I bought this probably like a couple weeks ago, I want to say, and it's expensive, okay? But I had some points on my Ulta card, so I used it to buy this, and I really do like it. I feel like it's very like a liquidy texture, and I feel like right when I put it on, my skin already feels ready and like 
prepped correctly to put foundation over top of like I really do notice a difference like my skin is very like tight and dry like in the morning um and I just feel like right when I put this on it go that goes away and I can feel the moisture in my skin so I'm really liking this which kind of sucks because it's like $42 so you know I can't be uh, repurchasing it probably maybe again if I build up my points <sighs> but I really like it you guys also, I didn't know that Smashbox was cruelty-free until I was in store and I saw the um, symbol on the display. So that is good to know. Also, did not know that. So my new favorite go-to foundation is the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. I did a kind of like a full first impressions wear test on this and it is the Taylor's favorite foundation. So I wanted to give it a shot. I really, really like it. it it replaced the flower foundation that I was using. Unfortunately, I'm still so freaking pale, you guys, that I have to still add a lightener. And my friend Kayleen told me, Kayleen, girl, if you're watching, you, you literally give me the best makeup recommendations ever, like I swear. But she told me that she had watched Kathleen Lights and that, or was it Kathleen Lights? I think it was Kathleen Lights, that she liked the LA Girl Pro coverage. And this was like, I can't remember how much, but I don't think it was that expensive. You get a lot of product and I really, really like this. I was using the Manic Panic Dream Tone for super long and I really just stopped liking, liking the consistency. I felt like it made my skin dry. Well, it's already dry, but drier. And this is really like liquidy. Like it starts to kind of slowly trickle um so I feel like it's good for my dry skin and I feel like it almost helps my foundation be a little bit more dewy which I need okay I've got two more makeup favorites and then I have hair favorite and two random I guess I will talk about this first now I feel like a lot of people really like this morphe setting spray um for good reason it does a really good job it's the finest mist I've ever tried as far as a setting spray. It just coats your face so evenly, so perfectly. Um, so I would say this is for sure worth the $15. It does to an extent help my makeup last longer. I feel like mostly it just helps it look less like cakey if I put powder on or anything like that. Then we have something that was in Shop My Stash. This is the Lash Warrior from Flower Beauty. I really, really like this mascara, guys. I obviously can't really show you what it does to my lashes today because I have uh, fake lashes on, but I really have been reaching for this so much. I actually got this for free. Smarter Beauty here on YouTube entered me in a Instagram contest and we freaking won, so we both won like a really nice PR package. Um, but I would for sure buy this with my own money like when it runs out. I do have some more mascaras that I need to go through, but eventually I could see myself repurchasing this. So let's get on to the hair next. I have a shampoo and conditioner that I want to recommend to you guys. This is from Paul Mitchell. This is their tea tree line in lavender mint moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. I am really bad at taking care of my hair. I'm good in the sense like I don't, I've never dyed my hair. I take good care in that regard like and I don't overuse heat on it. But like when it comes to like actually washing it, like I rarely ever use conditioner. I don't use a very good shampoo. I'm lazy, like I'm just not good with it. So when I was getting my hair cut, my hairdresser used these on me and um, I really like them. So they're definitely new to me, but like I can already tell I really, really like them. But I love that this kind of gives you like a tingly feeling and I feel like it's also moisturizing my scalp. So i uh, been loving these so much. We have two super random favorites, you guys. Okay, one is a wine glass. My friend Becky got this for me for Christmas, I believe. Um, she even customized it. I don't know if you guys can see it. This isn't um, engraved, but this is a sticker that she put on there. It says Caitlin, and then it has a llama unicorn. It truly keeps my um, wine cold. I just love it, and the color is so, so beautiful, you guys. Did I say the brand? It's called Brume. I can't remember if I said it, but it's got like this iridescent like glitters in it it's like this pinky purple I am so obsessed with this thing I love it thank you Becky if you're watching freaking love this rarely do I ever reach for a different wine glass so the last favorite is super super random I got some new glasses from the brand I hope I'm saying it right is Zinni z-e-n-n-i uh, I have contacts in currently so I'm not gonna open my eyes but I can like I can model them for you with my eyes closed my gosh my lashes are like hitting 
the glass. I was super hesitant to buy glasses online just because, you know, what if something went wrong? What if I got the prescription wrong? Um, but I finally did it. I'm super happy I did. My last pair of glasses I bought at a doctor's office was like $300. These were $80. Keep in mind, I have like really bad eyes. Also, I got the blue blight blocking technology that like when I'm editing on my computer, um, it will block like the rays that are bad for your eyes. So that added to the cost. Um, and I also got this really pretty blue case and because I'm a stunner I got some clip-on sunglasses you know I also really like on their website that they have like a 3d um, modeling thing that like takes pictures of your face turning side to side and then it puts glasses on your face so you can get like a feel for how they would look which I really like they didn't send these to me they don't know who I am it sounds like I'm like really hardcore promoting them but like I'm just super happy that I was able to save like so much money and like these work so nice and they're really nice they're just like this cute like tortoise shell um, print I don't know. I'm a big fan. Um, so that's pretty much it for my favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let me know what favorites you have been loving and I will talk to you guys in the comment section down below. Bye.